Ja, hallo, ähm, herzlich willkommen heute hier zu unserem Video-Spezial. Wir zeigen euch heute das Making-of unserer 2013er Werbekampagne und wünschen euch viel Spaß dabei. Wir befinden uns heute hier im wunderschönen England, wie man nicht ganz so leicht erkennen kann im Moment. Ähm, ja, wir sind mitten in einem alten äh, Militärgelände, welches von, den, äh, von der britischen Armee früher im Kalten Krieg als Spionageabwehr sozusagen, als Radarstation fungiert hat, um äh, den russischen Feind sozusagen abzuhören. Und hier hat heute, ähm, ja, viele Jahre später, Nick Wiesi sein Studio. Und äh, was der genau für uns produziert und wir mit ihm, das erfahrt ihr in den nächsten Minuten. Ja, wie bereits erwähnt, befinden wir uns hier in England bei Nick Wiesi, einem Künstler, der mit Röntgentechnik arbeitet und Gegenstände sozusagen durchleuchtet. Ja, zu diesem Zwecke haben wir hier einige Produkte mitgebracht, BMX-Räder, Teile, alles, was so eben so an einem BMX-Rad verbaut wird. Und natürlich viele kreative Ideen mit im Gepäck und äh, möchten das jetzt hier mit dem Nick umsetzen. Und ähm, ja, was das dann genau sein wird, könnt ihr spätestens äh, in, den Händen in euren Händen halten mit dem neuen äh, Frühjahr-Sommer-Katalog und den Postern, die folgen und alles andere, was wir so an Printprodukten dann wieder für euch herauszaubern werden. <lacht> Hello everybody, I'm Nick Vesey, um, I'm an artist, photographer, radiographer, whatever you want to call it. At the end of the day, I make pictures with x-rays. Well, I think the thing about an x-ray is that it's an honest interpretation of the subject from the inside out. So you see how it's made, how it works, all the, all the machinations that go on inside it, and then you just appreciate things again. You know, it's like, wow, I didn't realise life could be so interesting. And I'm just fortunate that I can help people see stuff like that. Okay, so um, what we have here are five X-ray films. Each of the black bags contains an X-ray film. And we are X-raying the whole of the bike from the crank backwards. So the frame, the crank, the chain, the rear wheels and the seat post and the saddle. I'm going to do a sec separate x-ray for the handlebars and the front forks and the front wheel. Um, and this is the position of the bike that we're going to use for the rail trick. So we'll make it look like he's going down the rail. As you can see, it's got the pegs, pegs on the bike. I took the pedals off intentionally so the bike lays flat so the x-ray is nice and sharp. And I'll x-ray the pedals separately and we'll put them back together on the computer. <laughs> So here, here are my x-ray machines. This is the one we're using today. Um, this is made by Comet in Switzerland. This is the best x-ray machine in the world. Um, it's actually sponsored to me by Comet. I couldn't afford to buy it, so they uh, fortunately allow me to use it and maintain it for me. Um, and then this is um, uh, another machine made by Philips. Um, this isn't as powerful, but it's still a very good machine. And this is a, a 1970s Russian microfocus x-ray machine which is great for x-raying delicate things like flowers and, and clothes. And, um, they're um, quite difficult to find and obviously they're dangerous things. Um, terrorists could make dirty bombs from them and stuff like that. So you have to be careful when you're using them and you have to make sure they're locked up at night. <laughs> yeah, I've got a license from the British government which allows me to operate x-ray equipment. Once a year I get a health and safety check to make sure that we're not going to risk anybody that happened to walk past on the outside or anything like that. So the building we're in is purpose built to contain the radiation. One of the walls is 700 millimetres thick, the other walls are 500 millimetres thick and that's solid dense concrete. Um, it's over specified for the amount of radiation because it's my life, I don't want to take chances. Yeah, well, basically, what I use is exactly the same principle as a medical x-ray, but when you uh, have to have a medical x-ray, it's over like that. A typical exposure in a hospital is 0.2 of a second. I'm using a similar amount of power. In fact, I'm using a little bit more power, 
But what makes my X-rays fundamentally different is for the amount of time. The X-ray of this bike was on for 2 minutes and 45 seconds. So that's obviously thousands and thousands and thousands times more radiation than you'd get exposed to in a hospital. Which is why my job is a dangerous job. And the door that you've just seen me open, that weighs 1,250 kilograms. We had to put the door on and then build the, build the building around the door. It was so heavy, we had to use a crane to put the door on. You're not going to believe this, but I am really into cycling. I know you're thinking, you fat liar, but I do actually cycle to work a couple of times a week. I'm not into BMXing, I'm too old for that, but I do love cycling. And I just thought it would be a really interesting project to do. I do get a lot of people approaching me to x-ray stuff, and um, for one reason or another I don't do it. But this one I wanted to do it, because um, I'm interested in the subject matter you're doing, and you seem like nice people, and that matters a lot. I like working with people that I get on with. Life's too short to deal with arseholes. <laughs>